Arsu and welcome back to another episode of me talking about the funniest show of this season, Hero Manga Sensei. And oh my god, my stomach hurt so much from laughing and this was a hilarious episode and we really got into the bashing the light novel industry and just making fun of it for a good amount of time but let's get on with what happened in this episode at the end of the first episode one of Sagiri's classmates came and we continue exactly from this point so Megumi that's her name and no she won't be casting an explosion but she will probably do something with a boom. Okay, sorry, that pun was seriously bad, but who cares? Let's move on. So, she entered the home and she was throwing around some crazy and hilarious lines from... Why? That's strange. Why isn't it working that it's it shouldn't be that someone is not falling in love with, with me at first sight? And... Then we have Izumi <laughs> reacting with, of course not, uh, I couldn't fall in love that fast. And so she goes on with, well, yeah, then your dick is useless. And we have some dick jokes around. And this really got me. I'm a reader of the light novel and I knew what was coming, but fucking hell. With the voice acting, it's so much better. Good lord, I mean, come on. Matsuka for Izumi is the perfect, perfect cast for this show. Because he has a lot of light novel protagonists under his belt. Like going on from popular ones like Kirito from Sword Art Online to... Uh, the from you from the unlimited Fafnir and stuff like this. So yeah, he, he did a lot of them. Or the one from Sakurazo, etc., etc., etc. And the entire dialogue in front of the door with Megumi was hilarious when she was going on like. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did, what did you just say? Dick or something? Yeah, is something wrong with it. Dicks, I love them. All girls my age love them. <laughs> and it's also a meme from the manga version that is going around for quite a while now. And now we have it in the anime form. Ba bam Nice one. So, there's more to it. She, well, she comes in and... She wanted that Sagiri comes to school. So we have some shenanigans going on with you, uh, Izumi trying to get her out of her room, but she refuses and then she is like, well, yeah, keep your phone on and let me listen to. Obviously, the what they are talking about is really, really strange. And even before that, when they were still in front of the door and the mindset of Izumi is so crazy when he was like, You fool! I'm washing the panties of my little sister all the time. There's no way I would fall in love with someone at first sight because she's cuter and looks better and whatnot and I had to laugh so much. I knew this was coming and fucking hell, I had to laugh so much. Good lord, this show is so s really funny and oh, damn it. It's, the lines were just golden and even if I go on the discussion and Megumi figuring it out what happened and then she is doing the same. She takes the phone and... Sneaks out her, her phone and behind her back she's calling 
Sagiri, and then she is asking Izumi some questions. And so, Sagiri, can you hear them? It's really, really funny, and I think I have said it last week or on some Facebook or Twitter post, more on a Facebook post, that most of the characters in Ero Manga Sensei are assholes. And not assholes like the bad kind of assholes you see and getting annoyed by, but the assholes in a funny, good way. And a good example would be Ranma One Half, because most of them are actually assholes. You, you like the characters, they are entertaining, but they are assholes to each other, and it's just so hilarious to look at, and this is the same here. But let's move on from Megumi to the actual stuff. So Izumi getting a call, his idea for a new story was declined and he starts to write something new. Going to school and then skipping right after school because yeah, he's a high school stun, but we are looking at the school maybe with one or two seconds and then everything is done with the school so pff, who cares couldn't it be a story about a high school student that isn't actually in high school well he is in high school but we are not in the high school setting good damn this is awesome okay just kidding around but let's move on and then he was heading to a meeting, but he had some time, so he, he went to the bookstore of his good friend. And there he saw some of the popular titles, and we have another couple of popular ones from the same company that is in the show, the ASC2 Media Works. And good lord, it's hilarious. And then he goes around the corner, because this was the recommendation stand, he sees his novel series, all volumes still in stock, and he is doing something crazy, he puts his own novels on top of the popular ones, and yeah, it, he's forced to put them back, but we will go back to this later on. While he is arrives at the office of the publisher, there's a new character, asshole number two, Yamada Elf Sensei. One of the popular light novel writers in this sad story. And good lord, she is one of my favorite characters from the actual light novel because she's such an asshole but so lovely and Good lord, she's a great character. Deal with it, fight me. So, we are there and she is having a crazy discussion with Izumi's editor. Something along the lines like, I am the Oregon number one writer of light novels and I will write for your company. And the editor is like, <laughs> no, thanks, go home. And she it's going back and forth with this and like Elf is totally confident that she is the best writer and going on with the This is an opportunity you shouldn't decline because it's me, I want to write for your company. Fun fact it is revealed that she just wants Ero Manga Sensei's art for her novel. Just saying. And it's so funny because this is also where the actual trash talk, making fun of, bashing, you name it, against the light novel industry begins. And we have some really, really cruel lines like all the other writers are outdated and I will be the new hope for the light novels. You can call me the best one. No, I'm the light novel in itself. And it's so savage, so crazy, and I just love it. 
And then they are introduced to each other and then they are totally shocked. And then there's this line, Edo Manga Sensei should draw the illustrations for a best-selling writer like me and not for a no-name one like you. So another really, really cruel line and it's hilarious. It's really funny and I'm looking forward to the next episode because this is where we will go deeper into the let's trash talk the light novel industry all time. Oh, and there was another line by Elf Chan that was Sales numbers are justice. I knew this line was coming. I knew this line is kinda right. It was hilarious because the justice line was coming from the flat-chested girl. Thanks for that punchline. Thanks for that pun. So good. So good. So. Oh, and at, we have some more of it and Izumi becoming more motivated to write because even though the editor shoved Elf Sensei out of the office, by threatening her to call her editor in charge and to complain about her. But then she says to Izumi that if he knows what this means, because some of the points she said were kinda spot on, and here we have the motivation fact going on. Back at home, Izumi crying in front of Sagiri's door, like, don't abandon me, and going all gango about it. And then she's, uh, w what happened? Did you have a bad dream or something like this? So the discussion goes, or not the discussion, but they are talking about the sweets that he is bringing, and she doesn't like him. And then, while closing the door, she's like, Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to wash the my underwear myself. Please don't touch them anymore. And he's like, totally shocked, this expression with... What, what, what the fuck happened? <laughs> so, yeah, this was hilarious. And it's one of my... Already with just two episodes, it's one of my favorite shows of this season. And it's, for me, the funniest one. So, yeah. Great, great, great episode. Really, really hilarious and savage. Go and watch it. Have a great time. Have a nice evening. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>